Yeah, it's very sad. And um, I, I mean, it's good to know that the structure of the cathedral may be preserved and the twin towers might not fall. But what's sad is for me is that, um, you know, when you walk past this place all the time, you kind of take it for granted. But sometimes I, I just, when I walk past there, if there are not too many tourists out, outside, I stop and, I, and you, if you just look at the detail on the carving on the facade, you know, every single square inch of that of the facade is covered in really intricate medieval carving and the whole building all the walls um you know the windows are intricately carved and there's you know stained glass as well every sort of inch of the, of the place bore the imprint of these medieval fingers that had crafted the stone you know all those centuries ago and even if the shape of the building like stands and they rebuild it that will be lost all the all these you know millions of hours of work and artistic creation have just been lost for me that's the saddest thing because when you you live with this place all the time you kind of see it on the horizon all the time or you walk past it all the time but if, when you look up close you're always discovering these new details which were created by these medieval artists all those centuries ago you know it's like a whole it's like hundreds of painting medieval paintings being burnt you know whatever they've saved and if the, you know the building survives it's great but there's been a massive loss of sort of works of art that's, that's a sad, for me that's the saddest thing because I, I, i'm sure that in a few years the french are really good at renovating stuff so in a few years time the silhouette of notre dame will be back up there again but it won't be the work that was done by those medieval people all those centuries ago that's the sad thing for me yeah, i know you